It's time once again for the Russell Brown Show. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about two different ways to create an image sequence. I'm going to bring in nine different images into Photoshop and sequence them and create an animation like the one you see here. Let's get started. Let's close this image and start from the beginning by importing the nine images. I'm going to go now up here to the File menu and down to Scripts. My first technique is going to use a script that's built into CS3 called Load Files into Stack. I'm selecting that. There are two ways to import them, by Files or by Folder. I'm going to select Folder. I'm going to click on Browse and locate my pirate sequence right here. Then I'm going to click Choose. That's all I need to do, and then the sequence is loaded into this dialog. I'm now going to click OK. And it automatically will load all nine of those individual layers into a layered Photoshop document. OK, there they are. Next, I need to set up the duration for my animation. Going over here to the flyout arrow from the Animation tabbed palette, I'm going to select Document Settings right here. I know that there are nine different images, so I'm going to have nine seconds for my duration and I want each image to display for one second. And I'm going to click OK. So that was the first step in setting up my timeline. Now I can create my animation by again going to the flyout arrow and select Make Frames from Layers, right there. Let's bring this palette up a bit by clicking here at the top of the palette, waiting for the two arrows to appear, and then I can extend the palette up like this so I can see all nine layers. Then when I hit the space bar, it plays my animation going from frame to frame and displaying my images across nine seconds, just like this. So this was a great way and an easy way to convert this image. I'm going to stop this animation and show you that you can toggle between this timeline animation and the frame-based animation by clicking on this icon in the lower right-hand corner. So now we have the standard frame-based animation that we can convert from that timeline animation. OK, let's take a look at the second technique. Again, let's go up here to the File menu and select Open. And now I'm targeting that same folder of images, but I'm going to click on the topmost image here, Pirate number 1. Then, very important, down here I'm going to click this checkbox, Image Sequence, right here. Then I'm going to click Open. By doing this, it's going to open up all of those images into a video layer. This is unique because it's putting all of the images into one simple little video layer package. If I hit the spacebar key, it then plays my animation. Now notice the animation is very, very fast. When you bring it in in this technique, it brings in each image for one frame, whereas before I converted it into one image for every second. If you'd like to adjust this, you have to target the layer here, the video layer, and go up to the Layers menu and down to Video Layers and here to Interpret Footage. If I adjust this to 1 for frames per second and click OK, and then adjust my duration under Document Settings from the flyout arrow, and I adjust this to 9 seconds instead of 9 frames, and let's also change this to 1 frame per second, click OK, and now when I play this, I should see the exact same thing I created when I imported the images in my previous technique. So there, you've seen two different ways to import images as a sequence.